And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you an old photo CPI effect. It's a quick effect if we do it this way. I've got the original right here. You will find that via description link below. Let me rename that to original. Oh, we've got nothing behind it. Just go to filters up here, find the decor filter and there's an old photo menu that's going to pop up if we click on this. It's a simple menu. We can work on a copy which opens basically a new project. Let me check that and I'll show you what it is. I also check the Zapier and I click on defocus, which is typical for old photos. Let me confirm it and you can see we've got our new project. So the copy opened right here and the old one is to the left of it. I'll reopen this menu. I uncheck defocus. And I don't want to work on a copy anymore, so let me uncheck that as well. There's also another option, which is called model. I hope I've pronounced it correctly, but it's also something that you can see in old photos. It looks something like this. Let me press Ctrl Z to undo. I open the menu again. The last option is border size. So that makes basically the edges of the photo a little bit washed out, I would say. I just want to have the ZP effects. And if I want to use this effect, I'll just add the original. It's right here. Let me rename that. So this was our new one, the Zapier, and this is the original. Make sure the original is below the Zapier in the stacking order of the layers. And then just play around with the opacity of the Zapier filter. And this is the way you can adjust the intensity of it. So if you just want to have a quick Zapier effect, use this menu, only check the box for Zapier, then add the original, put it below it, and play around with the opacity of your Zapier layer. I hope this video was helpful. If there are further questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.